I love studying the Bible, and using Logos 10 is one of my favorite things to do. But my eyes get sore quite easily when I'm using a tablet for most of my reading, and so I've been waiting for this day. The day when an e-ink tablet can be Android powerful enough to do Logos and do it well. This color ink, ink tablet I just got yesterday, and I've been playing around with it. I thought I'd show you a bit of the unboxing and then move into putting Logos on. So let's do that now. Installing Logos um, just uses the uh, Google Store, Play Store. And as it's installing, uh, we have a visitor up in the right-hand corner who uh, will be coming soon. Um, Logos is a fantastic piece of software. There's the downloaded, the cat we almost downloaded. Um, Logos is a fantastic piece of software, as you would know if you're using it. But um, it's a niche area, and so often things like this, tablets like this, and different kinds of tech that are helpful for Logos don't get reviewed very often. So I thought I would make this review and walk us through um, some of the questions you might have about e-ink, about the tablet. And uh, as I'm installing Logos in the background here um, and getting my library up and running, um, the main thing that I love about e-ink, I've been a long time e-ink user for reading books, is I can read for hours on e-ink, but with um, tablets or anything shining in my eyes, like a computer screen, um, I get red eyes and get very sore um, and can't read very late into the evening. Well, when I got this tablet, uh, so here I am um, trying to figure out what if I wanted to uh, rotate the tablet the other way. So I found the auto rotate button on there. And then uh, this is the first time this tablet's ever been rotated. So it uh, took a moment, but now it does it smoothly every time. And I was very impressed with how quickly the book's color um, note three um, did pretty much everything. Um, there's three columns and you can see I still haven't adjusted the margins. That happens a bit later in the video. Um, so yes, the e-ink is just so good um, for my eyes. And I was planning on just uh, setting this up and then going to bed. And I ended up getting so involved in using it for what I meant it to be used for. I just started studying the Bible, um, captivated me. Now here's some highlighting I've done and I can't see it on the e-ink tablet because highlighting is very much a color-based thing. And so I started trying to figure out how to um, find that to make that color pop. And so the first thing I went to was the backlight. I thought if I turn the backlight up, surely that will make the color pop. But all that really does is it adjusts either white light or a yellow light and you can balance it, which is really nice. And it comes from the side. So it, it, the lights shine over the screen, almost like a light in the room. And they don't bounce into your eyes. They just catch the edge of the e-ink and light it up. But that didn't really fix it. So there's me dragging over it to highlight it. And then you can see that it's a different color. But as I was looking for it, I thought, well, maybe it's in the settings of Logos. And so I went in and I, I thought, what if I change it to, that didn't really do anything, sepia. Then I changed it to the uh, the dark light. And uh, this is pretty pretty smarmy. You're going to like this. Um, if you like your dark mode, um, it looks really good, but it's almost uh, pointless because you don't have light shining in your eyes anyway. And so I actually found, I took it out of dark mode and... I've never used the tablet. I use all my tablets, my phone, my computer even, in dark mode. But on this tablet, this is the only time I ever had it in dark mode. I went right back into view settings and I took it out of dark mode. Not because I couldn't read it, but because I couldn't read it as well. It was just um, so nice with the, like looking at a blank piece of paper or a white piece of paper with text on it. It really feels so much like you just have a a color book, you know, a real live book in front of you that you're looking at. So I finally found the answer. It's in the settings here. You can pull up from the bottom to bring up a settings bar, but that's really difficult um, to figure out how to do. Or you can come in here and you can turn on the um, the bar across the bottom of the screen now that you can see just down at the bottom with um, some settings things. And when you do that, you can adjust um, down the one, two, three, fourth button along the bottom there, down in the black bar, you can adjust the, um, here I'm going to do it, I think. 
There you go. You touch that one and you can adjust the contrast settings, then a color boost and all kinds of stuff. It's really funny because it's e-ink. Boosting the color really doesn't do anything, but boosting this contrast really makes a difference. And then um, that one helps a little, um, but you can see it kind of highlights around the, the dividing lines between the columns, but it doesn't do a lot to the text itself. The top of the contrast with this one did nothing. Unless the the backlight's cranked all the way up, you can just see. And when you're looking at magazine like print um, with colored pictures, the bottom one there makes a difference. But the main thing that I found that really helps is the contrast. And then now there's the highlight, and you can see. And here's a highlight I've done on on logos um, some time ago, and it's visible just as you're scrolling down because ah, there's a highlight there. So just raising the contrast was all I had to do. But that was a tablet oriented question, um, not Logos. So I was just learning the tablet. The very first thing I did when I got the tablet was install Logos and just started playing with it because that's what I that's what I wanted it for. And that's what I got it for. And so now, yeah, it just uh, pops. Boom. You can see it once you raise the contrast. And you can see I'm just playing with it now. So you can see how the contrast is going up and down just up above where I'm adjusting the highlighting. It's a 10.3 um, inch tablet, so it's a good size. It's a little bit, um, well, it's, it's not an iPad Pro size, but it's, it's just a little bigger than a, a standard iPad, which is a 9.7 inch screen. So there you go. That's what highlighting looks like, and it works, yay. Now let's have a look. This stand I bought with it, um, it comes from books as well, and it's really cool. You can use it on your lap like I've got it here. There's all the highlighting all working and everything on the stand. This stand, when I got it, um, I got it with the tablet, and I, I had to take off the main head that was on it and put the one for the bigger tablets. But there it is, and um, it's being photobombed in the back there by the cat that didn't sleep all night um, because she was out... Uh, making the neighbor's house noisy on the roof. So here he goes. Uh, this is a little uh, case that comes with it. It's called the magnetic case, and you can fold it a number of ways. That's so cool, isn't it? Folds up. It's magnetic top and bottom, so the, the case just holds on to the back there. You put it that way, you can stand it up um, portrait, and um, you can also roll it up like an iPad cover um, and just have a little triangle in the back that, that holds it up as well. So let's have a look here. We load up Logos. What if you wanted to take notes alongside of Logos? I usually have a journal um, that I write in. But now you can just go up here to the settings. You can go to split screen on the device and you can load up your notes program. So on one side you put your Logos and on the other side you put your notes program. And then I just thought I would write a quick entry for you, show you how messy my handwriting is. Um, I had to figure out how to use the notes program, start a new note, and choose the format you want it in. And then uh, I sped up because I'm a slow writer and a messy writer. But uh, it is not difficult at all um, to write on the, tab the tablet. In fact, it feels like paper. It actually makes a sh 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 noise as you're moving across it. And you can feel kind of that um, resistance against the pen. It feels very much like pencil on paper. Um, and uh, if that tactile thing, you know, some artists really like to, it, for it to feel real, and, uh, and it does. So yeah, it's fun and easy. Now here, outdoors, backlight completely off. I just wanted to come out here and show you this, because this is what I like to do. I like to go sit in nature here in Australia, sit by the river, sit by the ocean, and uh, get my tablet out. Look how beautiful that is. It's crisp and clear, but while I'm outside, I wanted to show you um, one of the... Uh, the questions I was wondering, like, what about taking notes in Logos? Well, there's a note that I've written earlier. What if I wanted to edit that within Logos? Well, obviously, if I'm going to do that by hand, um, what's going to happen here is when I when I bring up the keyboard to write on there, it brings up my little writing pad in the corner where I've told it to be, but it's over the top of what I want to write. So I move that column over. Um, I like it to be a little writing pad in the corner rather than taking up the whole bottom, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So then you go in here and, uh, like I have messy handwriting and this has a understanding, like a interpreter for handwriting and watch this, watch how messy this is. I sped it up a little bit, but 
So it's it's not the not the cleanest crisp crispest handwriting, but I was blown away. It never got it wrong. Sometimes it would leave spaces out if I did a second entry, but other than um, like that's messy, right? Now watch what happens over in, on the note. It pops on there, and up the top of the handwriting thing is the is it as well there, and it says exactly what I meant to write, right? <laughs> it didn't look like I wrote that good, but there it was. So now, if I want to get rid of that, you just, just like you would in Logos, you just hold down and highlight it and then hit that back button, delete, and boom, it's gone. So now, what if I wanted to um, write a note across the, oh, I'll show you here. So let me move my notes tab back across and then uh, the way the keyboard standard comes up well it actually comes up with keys like like an ipad does um but uh, i've moved it across to the handwriting thing and i don't think i'll ever go back to the keys because it can read my handwriting so here's a different note it pops up in little notes bar there and it's a little bit high to demonstrate this well but when you do the cro across the bottom whole keyboard it bumps up whatever you're writing on to be above the keyboard it already happened to be there in this illustration but you see now that's going across the bottom and it recognizes which of the three columns you're writing and it only bumps that column up and then you can right on there and again it just pops exactly what i messy wrote it fixes it and puts it on there and you can see it is exactly what i wrote and then i can go in and highlight it again um, and delete what i wrote like that and then when you're done you put the keyboard away with this little button here and then in the dark there you may not be able to see it there's a done thing in it, it takes it back so here we are back inside looking at the tablet and I um, thought what if I cast it to my screen whoa imagine that for presentations it's that easy if you have a Google cast um, there it is it just goes straight up to your screen so in summing I have to say this is the perfect tablet especially for logos if you want to grab one um, use the link below and it helps me a little bit and uh, enjoy studying your Bible.